Thank you, Mary, for joining, and thank you, Ahmad, for volunteering to present this chapter today. So today we have Ahmad who will present chapter five, which is workflow and five. And um, yeah, over to you, Ahmad. Thank you. No problem. So welcome, everybody. Uh, so I'm, uh, my name is Ahmad, and uh, this is my first presentation uh, in book clubs at all, overall. So bear with me a little bit. Let's, let's begin with the chapter. We will discuss uh, workflow pipes. But I, I know this all, all over the, the people, most of the people are knowing uh, pipes and how to use it. But let's say I'm trying to just get a, get a little bit more information uh, and explain a little bit more about pipes. So. Let's dive in. Um, let's see. Okay. So our learning objective today is um, how knowing some history of R or origins of R of of pipe in R, and then the differences between the old pipe. Uh, operator and the new pipe operator, which is, uh, I think, it's already asked in a couple of sessions before. And uh, the use of uh, pipe operator to make code more readable. This was one way already uh, using it, so it's already we are knowing this. Um, they rec recognize when not to use uh, the pipe operator and when, when the pipe operator won't work uh, at some cases. And after it, we will uh, review other pipe operators that may be helpful. Um, yeah, so let's go into the introduction. Um, basically, the pipe operator, let's talk about the origin a little bit. Um, so pipe uh, pipe coming from, um, from a package called um, uh, Magrit Magritor, I think it's called, uh, sorry if I'm not, I pronounce it uh, not right, but uh yeah. yeah so it's magreter and it's uh it's mainly it's come uh, it's come into light uh at uh, 2014 and after that uh it's catch the the community catch up with uh, in, and build the new operator which is uh, this one let's let's try it with yeah okay do you see this uh this marker Yes, yes, Ahmad. Yes. Okay. This red, this red line, you, you see it? No. Okay, you don't, no. See, don't see red line. So how I share, um, let me share the, I, sh I think I have to share the full screen. Um, let's see. Sorry for that. So are, are you see it now? This red line? Yes. yes. Okay, awesome. So let's see. This uh, this is the new operator. This is the new pipe operator. And, and this is um, the old pipe operator. And uh, yeah, at uh, at 2021, uh, uh, this this one is built uh, in base R, and and this have like the same same structures. We use it the same way, uh, the same like the same even the same shortcut. But you have to do something to just uh, make it available to be instead of uh, shift uh, shift control M. Uh, doing the old one, you have to uh, make it available in the in the option. I will, I will quickly show you how. Just quickly. Okay, so here in, in the tools panel, uh, global options. If you choose code, and you make it right this one marked. This will replace the old one with the new one. But I will list, just let it as it is not for now. And, uh, and I will say why, because we will discuss the differences. 
So mainly the, pi the pipe operator is, is coming from um, the main idea of, kind of pipe operator is coming from the function compositions, which is a mathematical, uh, a mathematical, um, I could say it's a mathematical uh, concept. Uh, yeah, what, did, what I have done. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I think you need to drag it, put it at the extreme end and drag it. Yeah. Uh, drag it like that. I, I'm, I'm dragging it. It's still not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. put can you put your cursor at the end of the yeah, yes, yes. Can you put it? Okay, it's not changing. Okay. Yeah, it's not changing. Okay. <laughs> uh, Let so, me see. Yeah. No, okay. I, I forget. Okay, it's uh, something with the marker. Um so let's see. Uh, yeah, we were talking about the function composition, which is a, a concept in mathematics. Uh, let, let's, let's elaborate a bit about function composition. So let's say we have an X and this X is uh, consider it our data, okay? Okay, so we, if, if you wanna apply uh, an, a function on top of X and this function, let's call it, let's call it uh, F of X. This function could be uh, anything like uh, like the sum, the mean, any aggregation or transformation functions that we have in R. And uh, after we did this transformation, we, we say that uh, we have uh, another function to apply, which is G of X, G of F of X, okay? So we are having, we, we're getting the input of, this function of the, of the resultant of the, this function into the other the, the new function which is g and g also can, could be any anything like some mean uh, uh filter anything so and this the function composition means that it, you are basically are nesting or uh, passing the result of uh, of from the function to another and getting uh, getting the resultant in a sequence, getting the result of the data in a sequence. So uh, you could think more intuitively about pipe. This is the main idea of that's implemented in all programming languages uh, in, in the same way, and it's called like uh, method. Let's say method chaining. Method chaining. I think Python also have method chaining, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all in all programming languages that uh, that uh, that really work with uh, functional uh, any functions, any type of functions. And um, let's say uh, it's it, it's it's really it's it's really just uh, uh, this is the origin of R. This is where it's coming from. Uh, it says that inspired by F sharp programming language, but I think this is uh, this is uh, exists from from the beginning. It's not just from mass, uh, and I think F sharp also ha getting it from mass. So it's uh, it's intuitive way to think about it. So uh, just I just wanted to want to say it here because it's interesting. So also you could you could think of pipe as a it's intuitive as an intuitive way uh, of thinking about it like. Um, like a pipeline of uh, of that's the water pipeline, and every every joint like this joint, every joint is construct consists consists of uh, a, a function or transformation, transformation gate or function anything. Okay, so if all of those or all of those joints are just a transformation function, and we are just getting data inside these pipes uh, and transform it along the way with on each one of these joints. So this is one of the intuitive way I think about it. Is, uh, if you all don't want to go into mass or, or anything, so you could say, you could see that um, it's more like uh, 
uh, just uh, just a pipeline of uh, of transformations sequence of transformation so this is mainly how uh, pipe works let's let's go to the second thing. okay so we talked about uh, function composition okay um, now we, we know the origin and we know what, what where is coming from this idea the message chaining idea uh, why pipe uh, is is really implementing this this function composition is very important in R because uh, it's it's really give make, make you focus on the on high level composition of function you don't you don't focus on uh, on how you, you just focus on what uh, what to do with the functions like you're just constructing a template or a steps of functions that transform the data from from row to uh, another form that you are just proper for your analysis or analytics. Um, yeah, so let's, let's go. Yeah, the package, the, the Magitor pack, package uh, are built by Stephen Milton. And in, of course, this is in build, uh, implemented already in, um, it's exist in the tidyverse. So if you implement there, uh, if you uh, import the tidyverse, this has already been there for you to use. Uh, so yeah, let's continue for learning humans. Read the okay, and then yeah, we we know this also. So it's just uh, another way to think about uh, pipe, it's, uh, like and then uh, and then words. Um, but yeah, I say I think I, I I get I get the idea, and I think you are also getting the like the idea of piping. So let's know that. Yeah, let's go into the differences between the old pipe operator and the, the new pipe operator. And uh, I already said that yeah, it's it's doing the same almost, but um, this one is from the migrator migrator packages package, and this one is from the base R. It's it's already implemented in the language itself. From I think uh, the. the I think the version is 4.1 4 or so. And uh, the difference is, one of the differences is the placeholder that we use in our, um, in, in, uh, in the, with, with pipe, with pipe, okay? So piping um, in, in the old one, in the old uh, pipe operator, we use the dot to just replace the, the first argument that comes to pipe, like here, if you see, if you if you see here, um, let's, let's uh, see. Okay, again. Okay, so let's see if uh, here we are just saying that this DF, this data frame, are uh, we want to pipe it to split, and we use here the dot, and because we use the dot, it should be uh, it should replace the dot. Uh, the compiler should replace the dot with uh, with the DF itself. So it should it should equivalent be equivalent to this uh, df or df and df uh, the sign and var and um, it also here also here we if we put like dot and dot here dot and dot here it will get replaced by the first argument of the pipe which is df so it's, the compiler will uh, will uh, will see it as as like this. So the DF is replaced with the, the dot, and it's the same thing of uh, in the pipe operator, the new pipe operator. It's the same thing, but we we don't use dot. We don't we use the underscore. So instead of R, dot, this is the, the one of the main differences. We use underscore, and unfortunately, this is not the the new one is not that perfect yet. It's not very uh, supportive uh, to to some operators some operators like uh this operators and this and this are still not supported in the new pipe so if you if you're gonna use this this terminology or use this um um uh, let's say okay so if, you, if you're gonna use this the new operator of pipe, pipe operator uh you will definitely have some problem when you when you want this kind of behavior uh because it's it's not supported yet yet uh, I don't know if it's will get supported soon but 
uh, until now this is not supported so it will definitely get an error or something um so yeah some features yeah sim uh, yeah simple some feature are the same but uh the, but um if you want some uh use some advanced one with uh, with the new the new uh, the new uh, pipe operator you will have differently have some challenges that's why i uh, i see yeah in, in the book it's it's recommended to use uh, the new one because it's from the base r which is it makes sense because it's, it's uh, we since the 2014 of course we have a lot of time to just optimize the performance of this uh, this operator so at least i think uh, in my opinion this one is really perform performing better than this one but since it's not supporting all the the side effects or the the, the behaviors or the advanced things in uh, in uh, in the old one i think it's it's, it's it will it will be better to stick to this uh, to the old one until now until this this becomes supported supporting all the all the other uh, operators and also uh, like don't have like uh, really buggy uh, buggy behavior um, yeah so this is about yeah this is about the differences between the old operator and the new operator and if you have any question till now please feel free to interrupt okay yeah i'm good ahmad thank you this is good nice awesome so Let's move on. And here we are just uh, here we're just trying out. And here we're trying to, to, to show uh, why we are using R, uh, why we are using pipe. Sorry. Um, so without piping, we will do nesting. Okay. Let's see. Let's okay. Ah, okay. Without without piping, uh, we will do nest nesting. So nesting, uh, nesting or object assignment, of course. Uh, assignment here, here is shows the assignment part, where we just assigning, uh, and here we we use we use this uh, the plier and our colon colon uh, because it's not impl it's, uh, it doesn't um, import uh, uh, tidyverse. So that's why we are using it this way. But yeah, the main the main point here is that we. We just uh, apply some function and or uh, and uh, store it in a variable or uh, an object, and at the same time, uh, another applying another function on the output of the, of, the, of the one of the of the first one, and so on and so forth. And then we just applying uh, uh, on the, uh, another function on the result. Here is not it's, it's it doesn't doesn't uh, it doesn't um, make sense. Because, for example, if you are having some like uh, ten, yeah, you could say ten of uh, of steps, you will really uh, store in st uh, store the result in ten variables, and that's not only just wasting resources because we are having we are are locating some memory in our RAM. It just it it also it harder to, because um, it's just we are just we are not using them or we are not using these uh, these these variables we just want the, the d here we just want this variable so we we want the result the, the final result so these are the, considered just a placeholder so if you use if you use uh, a variable for just making a uh, uh, placeholder or store some uh, intermediate result in it, it's just a waste of resources and it's, it's inefficient because uh, when you, as I said, if you if you have like 10 or or even a hundred of, um, if you have a hundred of, of, uh, of a transformation that you have to do, you will having a hundred variables, which is inconvenient and unreadable. Of course, it's on performance also, so it's, uh, we don't use this because that's why uh, pipe is really uh, here to uh, to to rescue us from this. Um, 
yeah, so it's, it's an it's an uh, performant way to do uh, transformation in a sequence. So let's go to yeah, let's go to the second one, which is the nested part. So we could why we one of one of you could say is uh, we could use just nested uh, functions inside a function inside a function. This nested behavior actually is is existing in every other programming language. If you if you see it. You could see it in Java, you could see it in, uh, in Python, you could see it in a lot of places uh, because this nested are, are really implemented in the, in the language itself and it's encouraged by language. But since we since R is very uh, unique in terms of how we, uh, we just want a performant and the same way, at the same time, readable way to do it, we don't use the nested part. Um, it's because if you have like some, uh, you, you see here the indentation to see it, to to identify to like make a point that this is this one is inside this one and this one is inside this one. Um, but at the same time, you uh, you having like a level, and if levels this one level one level two level three, and you could go on until like level, uh, if you have like some kind of transformations that goes on to a uh, hundred or, or something something transformation you will having like an a, a nested uh, a nested uh, piece i think you, you will not uh, it will not be real re readable at all it's you will just see uh, okay where is uh, where is uh, where is the close of this uh, of, of this uh, of this bracket and you, you try to find it and it's very hard so it's hard. It's very hard for debugging. Also, so it's uh, uh, that's why it's not recommended that you use this way of uh, transformation or doing so stuff uh, in uh, in a sequence. So uh, that's why it's pipe is very elegant and same same why it's readable, very readable because it's having the same level. If you see, if you you just compare these two, you'll see this is the same level. You just Turning, uh, you just transform the filter here and then group by and then summarize, and it's more readable and it's also um, it's also more efficient than uh, the first one here that we are having an intermediate objects uh, that really wasting spaces and uh, unperformant. So yeah, yeah, the third example not only reduces complexity, you are building okay. Um, yeah, this is not very important. Let's go to any uh, any question until here. No, I'm good, Ahmed. Good question. Nice. So overwriting data. Okay, so here we are talking about how we are wrangling our data or how we are using the analysis, um, and the transformation that we just mentioned. As I said before, it's hard. It's very hard to have an intermediate object, uh, like we mentioned here, uh, uh, here, here, yeah, uh, because it's uh, it's unperformant and wasting memory and all this kind of stuff. But also, it, when we when we do debugging, it's very hard. It's very very hard to have uh, this structure because the debug the debugger is, will not will not know where the the bug is, and you try to to rerun the all the, the code the whole process again and again just to reproduce the the result and also because we you are just um you are just uh don't have this uh really as as a priority or uh having it in a proper way uh stored you you really tend to uh lo lose some um yeah, uh, some uh, changes or transformations that you already did, but that's why you are you overwriting it or uh, reproduce, try to reproduce it to have to know what where is the bug again. Um, yeah, so this is what this is the first overwriting, and then the second one, repetition of object being transformed. Yeah. Okay, so because of this way, this 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 couple of ways uh that we are yeah this one okay don't know why it's uh, it's pretty big but 
yeah this this one and this one uh because it's uh we are not tracking where is it what happened to the data itself at some point we will lose the track of of the origin of the data so we we are lose track the, at the first the first data that comes into the into the transformation function filter here sorry hello can i can i yeah. come in i want to understand this part where i'm seeing example without pipe in this place are you saying that uh, uh piping is more like if you had written this separately you that should have done different functions a b c and d but with pipe you could make something like inside but i didn't really get are these different functions, this A, B, C, and the other different objects, different um, calculations or what? So do you mean do you mean like this? This this, uh, this first this first uh this one you have here, A is uh, a function of or uh, maybe it's an operation that's about to be happening. Filter this, yeah, filter so third, this, then this. second one was to group by this and so yeah, then now finally print D. So these are various um, calculations that have happened or operations separately, or they, were they coming from one database and that has happened, the next thing happened on it. So how does piping come in with this now? Yeah, I'm saying pipe coming to this to just modify and optimize this, this structure because this is okay. inefficient. Yeah, this is inefficient because we are allocating memory by using a sign here. So it's just allocating a lot of stuff that we will not use at the end. We will just want D at the end. We just want the, the final result. We don't want A or B or C, right? At least the, we when we piping, we don't have the result until we stop the pipe. Like we like here, we just if we here we are just stop stopped at the at the, at the last one. And we're not making uh, like we just we're not storing anything here. Here we're okay, not. Okay, so when you when you could... make objects, you start storing things, and it takes memory. Is that what? Yes, yes. When we make objects, okay. it's, it's storing. Thank it's you. Storing. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, exactly, Mary. That's what um, uh, I save this issue. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, we are here. So we are not tracking the. Um, yeah, we, we said that we are not tracking uh, the data at, at first. So that's one of the things that we have to take take care of it. Um, I and I will elaborate more on this uh, at the next as coming as coming section in the coming session. Um, if you want, okay, yeah, uh, it's not relevant. <laughs> okay, I said all this. Okay, when when the pipe operator won't work, so. What is the cases that we have if, uh, if if the, when when we, it's it's not that just won't work, um, and this is really low level things. But let's say let's let me try to explain it. But at first, it's two types, two classes of function. There's two classes of functions that really won't work for in when you're using pipe, and the the first one. Um, is the function that uses the current environment. And functions that uses the current environment, like here, a sign, of course, but uh, let me elaborate. It's because uh, the current environment is, uh, as, I, as I understand, is a global uh, global scope, I think. It's a very it's a more, the, more than a global scope. So some functions are having its own global scope. That's why it's, uh, if pipe in pipe it uses um, the global scope of uh, the global uh, one pipe using the global the global one and uh, because this function are using its own uh, its own uh, global scope i think it's here uh, let's see let's write it yeah so Yeah, this function has already defined an environment inside. So that's why if you want to try to use it uh, with piping here, um, 
is it will not work. So it's uh, we are assigning a hundred, uh, and it's still ten. We we first assign a ten here, and it's work. Okay, it's ten, and if you assign a hundred, it will not work because uh, by by you using the global environment and this assign uh, function is using its own environment and that's at least that's why why uh, here you could see it here we uh, with the environment uh, function you we are trying to capture the global environment and assign it to a, a, an object and then uh, assign the object as a as a parameter here also in uh, uh, in the function itself uh, just that to just make it the function looking or uh, having the scope of the global. And when you do this, it's, it works now, uh, uh, it become 10, 100. So yeah, this type of functions are using the type of uh, the current environment, that just differences in, in, the, in the environments, the design way, the, 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 the design, the, 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 the structure and the design of the function itself, so it's, it's different from some from function on another, but uh, at least this what he, he mentioning um, in this type of functions. Uh, okay, let's see the, the other types that we that um, that will not work piping. Piping will not work in this one, but uh, okay. So functions that have that uses the lazy evaluation. I think. The lazy evaluation is some kind of advanced concept a little bit, but let me try to um, explain it a bit. So evaluation, okay. You have any question? Are we good Sorry, um, yeah, the assign. Yeah. Yes, uh, um, are you saying that because it's already, uh, it's also having its own, other functions that make up the assign. That's why uh, pipe cannot work with it. Um, it's. I think this is this one is really a little bit uh, advanced concept because it, it, I think it's it's already talking about uh, the lexical scoping and scoping of how how are designed to to read uh, the the scope of the global and the the, the scope of the inside of the function. So it's, it's a little bit not my area. I don't know if it's if is this correct, but at least this is what I understand uh, that you have a, uh, an environment that uh, if global environment and the already assigned one. But also it could you could uh, it could be like what you said. You have the already assigned here, but we are not using assigned. Uh, when you turn here, we don't use assigned. So it's. Uh, I think it's not. Uh, it's, it's not like that. Uh, I think it's it's more like the environment of the the function itself, as a default vari variable. We have this this one is a, as a default. So and um, the pipe is locking onto the global, and since it's it's different, um, it's a different uh, environment. Uh, it's in different and different uh, uh, context. Different concept, different environment, different uh, scoping. Uh, that's why it's not working. At least this is how I understand it. If it's still, uh, I think it's, we'll talk more about this, or it's it it it, it explained better in uh, in advanced R. I think in the function chapter. Yeah. Okay. Can, yeah. But he he, he just mentioned it here. It's, he's not, he doesn't like explain it a bit explain a lot of, of it so uh at least this is how i understand it if it's if it's not clear uh, it's totally okay it's just uh, just type of function that doesn't work with pipes uh, okay very good okay so let's go to the second function type of function is which is a uh, function that uses the lazy evaluation so lazy evaluation is like um when we defining a function is not evaluated or uh, or executed until it's already or, or until it's called and this is exists in all the programming languages but um but here in r because this is unusual um unusual behavior uh so 
uh, when we try to do piping to the same function, which is stop here, uh, pipe with uh, try catch uh, function. Try, try catch function as are using the, uh, the lazy evaluation. Um, but the, the, the thing that I find it really uh, miss, like uh, I didn't understand well, that if, you, if we, are, we try to run it, at the end, it, it works. So he, he, in the book, it said it's, it's not, it will not work when you use the pipe with the try catch. And this is will become the result. And when I run it here, it's it works. So I don't know which is uh, what is true. But do you have any any input in this? Just to try to. Okay. So let's continue. It's uh, I think it's maybe something that we are we not understand that well, but. At least here, when I run it, it's, it, it works. I, I don't know, it's, uh, it might be something else. So let's continue. Um, when not to use the pipe. Okay. We have like three main, uh, main items. Uh, when, a pipe, when, when your pipe is more than 10 uh, or 10, longer than 10 or 10, uh, you really need to have like an intermediate object. Here we could use uh, the assignment that we, we talked about before. Like uh, we could, um, let's say, work, work, okay. So just, okay, so here, uh, yeah, here we could we could just we could just uh, have a, a variable a and having like a five step of transformation in with pipe and then the by the variable b, which is having also the five steps of transformation other other five steps. So by doing this, we are just uh, we we just not having uh, a long pipe because. Having a long pipe means that you you are really lost, losing a lot of information in in the way, uh, because in some point uh, you will want to know what is the output of this one or this this transformation, and because you having a long list of piping, uh, it it would be uh, it will not work. You will not you will have to evaluate this one instead uh, or alone. Uh, that's why it's 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 convenient if you're having more than five or three or or more than five or six, just put it in the uh, in the object itself and then continue the piping in another uh, round and also store it in the other op other objects. And here the A is uh, is is going to as, as an input in the first function, of course, just to to continue the the cycle. And yeah, this is this one when to, when not to use pipe. Don't use pipe for more than ten or uh, more than ten uh, like transformation function or application function. Um, yeah, the second one. Second one is uh, you have multiple inputs and outputs. When because if pipe are really focusing on uh, having just one input, just one data source, we cannot have like. Uh, for example, we, we could have, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, we have like Iris dataset and we have another dataset that uh, you could say it Iris dot two or something like that. And we having, we're having two sources. We can't not have uh, two sources in pipes. Uh, that's why it's, um, uh, it's, it's not recommended or not, it's, it's, it will not work. Uh, it's just having, you have to have not one uh, that's set. Uh, you could, if you have like with this, that's it with the same schema or the same structure, just combine them and then uh, make it uh, into uh, a, a, a unified one, then Sorry, pass it into uh, five. Yeah. Ahmed, uh, you mean we should have one database while working on? Like your data frame, sorry, data frame. Data frame or yeah. data set, yeah, yeah. Data frame, a single yeah. data frame. Yeah. 
Which if we great. have many other variables, what if they're not the same um, number of rows and columns? What, how would you bring the two together? Um, I think there is a. I think this is already discussed in, in the transformation. I think um, I don't know uh, because I, I'm I'm new to to R. It's, it's, so okay. We we in Python have like some some method like merge or something like that. Uh, I don't know if okay. it exists in R, but you have you have to have this. These two that sets or data that uh, frames. Um, what the question? Uh, Mary, what's uh, the question? Uh, how, how, to, says? how to yeah. how to merge iris swap? You, know, iris you, you said iris. use only one sort of in, one input. So don't use multiple input like iris and iris dot two two different data frame. So I said, what if you want to take something information from another data frame and add it? To ah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So we will come to a chapter. I think. Um, which chapter is that? So we have, you know, uh, let me see the chapter. So we have different kind of, you know, uh, transformation for data frame. So I think tidying data, I think in chapter six, I guess, yes. In chapter six, we have tidying data um, where we'll discuss, uh, let me see whether it is in that chapter. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Let me okay. see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll, um, we'll discuss that, how you can put together many, you know, uh, yeah, I think yeah. in chapter six. And it's, okay. it's ha it has to be, I think it's uh, have the same, some num same number of columns and same types. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank um, you. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Uh, yeah, left join, right join, yes, all those yes, kind of join. join. Yes. So yeah, it's in chapter six. Maybe you can volunteer Mary to present to discuss chapter six because it's <laughs> please don't yes, push it. it. Please no. <laughs> no, you know what, Mary? If you volunteer, you will tell that you yourself will know that yes, I learned yeah. a lot by yeah. volunteering to present each other. You will yeah. tell yourself from that time, you say you you will say I will present another chapter because you feel, you know, accomplished that you learned a lot. So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. How much can continue? Okay. So I'm I'm new user to ours. It's, I just uh, it's not, I just uh, began to use R uh, just two weeks ago. So it's uh, you will not be <laughs> you will not be better the uh, worse than me. So it's it's easier. It's easy. Don't uh, don't take it as a uh, big deal so okay let's continue uh the third one we talk about the uh, multiple inputs or outputs you don't have you don't have to have one just one output at the end uh, we already talked about this um so you are starting to think about a directed graph with a complex dependency structure dependency structure which is meaning um okay dag let me say let me elaborate more up on this. Um, so, if you're having those transformation functions uh, in in that or in that way, okay, we have here transformation, here other transformation, and we oh, I also have here one. Okay, and okay, let's let's see this here. Okay, and. After this, another thought. Okay, so this is a, something called the directed graph, um, and every every node here is some kind of transformation. If you try, if you think, uh, if you try, if if you like uh, notice that you have this kind of way that we have, like this is the pipes, which you just construct the pipe in that way, and then combine it with another pipe, and then uh, we having uh, other pipe like this here, and you combine it. Th this comes together to end up another pipe. If you having this kind of structure that really a really complex structure, uh, don't use uh, the pipe or use it separately. Don't just make it a graph like this. Uh, like you have to use like uh, make it like this and store this on in in a, in an object like a. Like we are, we are, we discussed before here, killer. Okay, and and the second one, you could also describe it here. Just separate, have have an intermediate uh, object that you store in it, because if you 
uh, again that we talk about this uh, if you really want to get uh, the um, the result of this one and you already combined the result of the, this one and this one you will not be able to get the result of this one so it's uh, it's really dependent a lot on uh, the structure is complex and depend and because it's dependent on each other uh, we can get the result easily uh, that's why it's better to separate uh, when you having like five or six uh, transformation it's just separated in its own objects um, and just to put more i i see this on system level we're using something called DAG, which is a dialectic acyclic graph. Acyclic means that we don't have a cycle in the graph like uh, like this one. We don't have something like this, and um, we are using are using this are using this in a daily basis when you're using when I dealing with system or data system, where we are having the source where in some place we having multiple sources and we want to get the data from multiple sources and we just construct a graph uh, on how to combine, have, have some kind of uh, combined combine methodology to just make, a, uh, make it in the one place and store it in the data warehouse or something like that. And then transform it along the way with some, some tools or with SQL or, or with R, something like that. So, it's, it's really useful and it's already used a lot, this DAG uh, concept. So let's continue. So other tools in Magrator. Uh, there, is a, there is another, um, other operators, other type of pipes operators that exist in the Magrator package that we could leverage if in our, uh, if you want to, of course. Um, here we have the T, the T pipe. The T pipe is mainly because if you want to uh, evaluate instead of using the, the left hand side, which is the pipe operator have this, let's see, okay. We have here the right hand side. This is, this is the left hand side. Okay, this is the left and this is the right. This one is the right. This right and this is left, okay. Um, the pipe operator are operating to the on the left hand side so it's 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 uh, take this uh this this data and then uh, apply the function on the left hand uh, on the right hand side so the t operator is all all it's doing it's uh, instead of uh instead of applying the function or going in in this direction it's instead it's it's uh, it goes into this direction from right to uh to to left and this you could see here you see if you if you run this okay this is the normal pipe okay this is normal one let's go to the pipe the, the one that okay now i think it's, it's not obvious here let's let's delete the plot and run it okay so here we are um uh, applying the matrix and not uh, we are not we're applying the matrix first then the string. So this are changing the order. Try to change the order uh, when you use t-type. So if we just delete, um, yeah, let's delete. The, let's check the okay. Let's check the normal one. Okay. So the normal one will just print a string, which is this one. This function. This final one. So it's printing a string. If we if we use the T pipe, it will apply this, this one first, then uh, make it a string. So this type of uh, re re just reordering or applying the, the left before the right, this is how, how uh, the T pipe is working. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't see uh, yeah it could be useful sometimes I I don't I don't know if if any one of you are using it so you know no about... I'm not I'm not using yeah. it I have not used before as well <laughs> yeah can I can I quickly say ask a question looking at this arrow norm hundred that's random numbers of uh, B of hundred hundred is that yeah. what it means hundred random numbers so then 
You use yeah. that you get a matrix of the, in two columns before. Yeah. But so when it sees, comes in, what are you doing? Are you doing the left side? Are you coming from the structure, coming the other way around? I didn't understand. Uh, is that just, you don't understand the T-pipe? Yes, when you want to do T-pipe, do you mean you're doing back or a reverse form? Of yeah, reverse, it's, of... it's, meaning, it's meaning that you are instead, of course, because you are using pipe here, you are evaluating this first and then the, this, right? This is the order that we, the, the normal piper is using. But when you use T-pipe, it, oh, it, it at first uh, evaluate, um, yeah, yeah, because this is, yeah, it could, uh, this is one, this one could be a little bit mistaken, but it evaluates the, the previous one, the, 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 on the right hand, on the left hand side of this, which is here, the, um, this, this hundred number, this, uh, this random number, 10, 10, hundred of 10 random, uh, of random numbers, and then goes into this one. So it's just to reverse the order, the reverse the order of, uh, of applying. At least this is how I understand it. Um, if we, if we see it here, that's, that's the one that shows the normal one. Okay, the normal one is getting, get, we're getting the, just a string with the normal order, one, two, three. So if we, if we have in the pipe, uh, the T operator, it will, um, will goes in the different order. Um, I think the reverse order. It's, it's just the reversing order. And it's coming for a, yeah, it's used in a complex pipe, but I didn't use, I don't use it at all. And I, I don't see it in, when I read R code, I don't see it used also, because it could be confusing. Uh, and it, it's unreliable also. So it's, yeah, it may be better to not use it. Um, yeah, so it returns the left hand side instead of the right hand side. So at the at, at the final output, it, uh, it, it, it 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 instead of returning the string at the end, it returning the plot at the end. I think this is how uh, how we describe it. So it's it, that's why it's uh, if we use it the plot. Like this. Is it not the one? Okay, yes. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Oh. Okay. This one. Yeah. So it's 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 uh, it's evaluating the plot and try try. Uh, it's it's retaining the plot the plot, not the string. At least this is how I see it. Um, if you don't understand it, it's, 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 uh, you could go to the documentation. I didn't really uh, got why we are we would use this because we are depending on the order at, itself uh, to to do our transformation. So it's if it's if we have some reverse, why we do we will do it in reverse because we are we are the ones that that put the order in at first place. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't really uh, see a use to it that much but but yeah it's you could go to the common documentation if you you want to use this one okay so yeah i didn't use any one of those but let's let's say um this one are doing what because it closed the frame so that we can refer them yeah i don't i i, I really don't know what's what's the use of this it's uh this is the correlation of course and this is the database and uh our data frame and we just explore expose i think expose variables but i don't know how how i should show how how how, how to see expose um because you just apply a function so uh, i don't get it here uh, if you, if any one of you have like tried this kind of operators, this, this kind of uh, it's, it's called expositions, expositions like operators, uh, you could you could uh, feel free to interrupt because I I really don't uh, understand it at all. Um, here is the assignment one. Uh, we just replacing, yeah, you just replacing the assignment 
uh, you do instead of doing it this way, like a normal assign assign operator. Here we're using the pipe assignment operator where uh, we just having these two symbols together, this this and this. But yeah, I, I also it's it's uh, in in the in the writer opinion it's not um, it's not good to use this one because it's uh, it could be confusing also. So a, a lot of them are confusing for for newcomer to R I think and. Also, in the, the people that using are also uh, maybe a bit confused to read this. Um, but yeah, it's, it exists and you could use it if you want. Um, okay, so let's get to the building unary function. You could build function with pipes uh, in one line function. One line function, uh, I don't think it's called anonymous function, but, uh, or is it exists in an anonymous function in R? I don't know also. But um, it, uh, it it could be used in this way if you uh, if you have the placeholder uh, dot and have the pipe, then the cosine, then the pipe, then the sine. It's equivalent to having the function and you define it with the dot in it and and the sine and the cosine uh, nested in, inside each other. So it's it's very uh, it, you could you could use it in. Um, just to uh, one line function, uh, create non one line function in, uh, in a quicker way. Uh, but also it's not readable yet, but also the same thing, it's not very readable. And I think it's, it's to be more accurate as a programmer or at, uh, in R or in any language, you should really care about readability because other people will eventually have to read your code. So uh, you have to make it simple to, to comprehend. And yeah, uh, I think I've finished. That's all I have net for, for this meeting. Uh, if you have any question, um, if you have any other uh, other question about pipes, I would be glad to, to answer. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, it was cool and great presentation. Um, I yeah. really like the way yeah, you presented. Um, thank you for volunteering and I hope you volunteer more I believe you definitely volunteer because um, having presented one chapter, you will definitely say that you've uh, you know benefited a lot yeah. by trying to put it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, cool. So um we have chapter six next week, um, next week, which will be about you know, um, you know, uh what we I have just said. Um so right now nobody has signed up. So if nobody has signed up, I will volunteer to present chapter six, unless if Mary volunteer to present. But no pressure, <laughs> Mary. No pressure. No pressure. Look at it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me know if not. Um, but if um, yeah, you're still you know learning, I will volunteer to present chapter six uh, next week. What's the topic, please? Sorry. What's the title of the chapter? Ah, oh, okay. The title of the chapter, chapter six. Uh, so the chapter six, let me read again. And so as you are chapter... looking for it, um, Ahmed, how do you, uh, the new pipe, what's the shortcut now? Data mm -hmm. tidying, it's called data tidying. Okay, data tidying, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Uh, the new pipe, this, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this particular, what's, how do you, so instead of shift control M, what do you do then to get this new pipe? Yeah, you could use uh, the same, the same. Uh, yeah, so if you change, control M. If yeah, if you try change the if, if from you try, RStudio. Yeah, yeah it's the I global think, options. Okay, yes. so the global option here is you could say change it. Uh, if you click, uh, okay, if we just make this mark, I said this in the beginning, and we could just uh, go yes. to A and same, uh, just shift control. M also it's, it's converted uh, automatically to the new pipe, which is uh, the one that comes from the R. R uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, Ahmad. And yeah, what do you use this as a pointer that you use to point? Which software is this? Oh yeah, this this one it's uh it's called the Epic uh, Epic Pen. Epic uh, Pen. Yeah, it's Epic Pen, and uh, okay. I I having a tablet here so I could, uh, I could oh are you using tablet now yeah 
Oh, and you are using tablet to work with it. What? You are using tablet to annotate, right? Yeah, yeah. To just uh, uh, I could uh, draw and. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, a, it's it's a nice way to to show things and it's a simple. But are you using? Yeah, are you using um computer or are you using laptop or using the two? The computer there. Yeah, this is a PC, uh, and uh, I just look in look at the, the tablet. It's not with um with a screen. It's just a drawing tablet, small drawing ah. tablet. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Glad you like it. Yeah. Um. So I will try. Can you share the name of the software I want? To yeah. Yeah. I will. I will send you the link and. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Because I wanted to, you know, use please this put the of... link on the Slack channel or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, wanted to, I was surprised. <laughs> okay. okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, bye, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. See, see, see you next. later. Bye. Bye. Yeah.